Good morning, Grid 3. This is Miss Anna Sata with you, and I'm gonna explain today quantifiers. Okay? Okay. Quantifiers tell me how this thing is big in quantity or small in quantity, or huh, whether it's a great in number or small in number. Okay, let's explain start by many and few. I use many and few for things I can count. Like what? Cats, ducks, tables, words I can count. Plural words with S or even a regular plural. Like what? I have many cats in my house. I have few cats in my house, not like you. Okay? I have many dogs in my house. So, many dogs here equal a lot of dogs. A lot of dogs. But few equal small in number. Small in number. Okay? Not a lot of. Great. So, this is many. Huh? Great in number. Few. Huh? Small in number. Great. Great. Now, let's move to much and low. Much and little. Huh? Much. Great in quantity. Little. Small in quantity. Okay, I use much and little for words I can't count. Like what? Like water. Can you count water? If, if you go to your kitchen now and bring a cup, now fill it with water. Now, can you count the water inside the cup? No, you can't. So, I use words like much and little with all liquids because I can count all liquids like water, milk, juice, coffee, tea, uh, oil. Okay, like what? Much water. Okay, I need much water. Okay, I need little water because little, small in quantity, not not so much. Okay, huh? I want a much juice. I want a much oil. Huh? Would you please give me much sugar? Or how much sugar do you want? How much sugar do you want? And also all powders like flour. Okay, a flour we bake, not flour with milk. Okay, so. Uh, what do we need in order to make a cake? I need flour. Okay, do we need much flour or little flour? Uh-huh, okay. Sometimes I need little flour and sometimes I need much flour in order to bake a cake or to bake a, huh, a loaf of bread. Bread, tea, rice, sand. Okay, all of these are uncountable words just like money. Can you count money? No, I can't count money. Can I say one money, two money, three money? No, I can't. But I can say one pound, two pounds, three pounds, one dollar, two dollars. Now I'm counting the dollar and pound, not money. Okay? So I use words like much and little for words I can't count. Or we can say uncountable words. Now, finally, I have to say that I have two kinds of, huh, of words. I can classify them into countable and uncountable. Huh? I use what was countable words with words I can count like cat, two cats, three cats, four cats. Huh? I use words like many, great in number, and few, small in number. Okay? And I have also uncountable words, words I can't count. Like what? Like water, juice, money. I can count those words. I use with them what? Much, little. Much, great in quantity, little small in quantity okay great i have also some words which equal much and equal many what are these words a lot of and lots of okay this equal what equal much and equal many equal much and equal many so i can say i need much sugar or I need a lot of sugar. I need lots of sugar. I can say also, hmm, uh, how many cats do I do you have? You say I have uh, many cats, or I have a lot of cats, or I have lots of cats. So a lot of or lots of equal much and equal many. Equal much and equal many, which means that a lot of and lots of can come with countable and uncountable countable words like what else else some you know this word yeah some comes with countable and uncountable also i say some cats and i say some water i say some dogs and i say some juice so a lot of lots of some huh, 
I can have after them countable and uncountable. Okay, so I have what are quantifiers? Who will tell me many, few, huh? For things I can count, much, little, for things I can't count, and a lot of, lots of, some, for both. Things I can count and things I can't count. Okay, grade three. And now grade three, let's answer some of your right questions you will find in your booklet. There are a lot of cats in the street. I want you here to use few. Okay? First of all, in order, both of you will make a mistake here. You know why? You will say there are few cats in the street. No, this is wrong. First of all, you have to focus. Uh, the word I need between the two brackets. Here, few. Huh. What is the quantifier here? I wanted to replace it with few. Yes, it's a lot of. So, underline the two quantifiers. The quantifiers I already have in the sentence and the quantifier I have between the two brackets. So, I need to replace it by this. So, remove this and put few. Okay, great. So, now I change the meaning. There are few cats in the streets. Is the street? Is this is this correct? No, I, I wanted to say that there are a lot of cats. How can I express this with the word of you? Yeah, I have to turn into negative. So it will be huh? There aren't there aren't few cats in the streets to give the same meaning like there are a lot of cats in the street. In order to make it easier for, for you. Now look at the two words. A lot of and few. Okay? The quantifier in the sentence and the quantifier between huh, brackets. What do I need here to answer this question? First of all, are they the same meaning or opposite? Hmm. Focus. A lot of few. Are they the same meaning or opposite? Yeah, they are opposite meaning. Okay. So, I need to, first of all, remove the quantifier from the sentence and put the quantifier between brackets. Number two, turn the sentence from affirmative into negative. Okay, again, if the quantifier in the sentence huh, is the opposite of the quantifier between the two brackets, huh, I have to turn the sentence into negative if it is affirmative and if it is negative, I have to turn it into affirmative. Okay? Okay. They are opposite, so also the sentence should be the opposite. Okay? It, is it affirmative? Turn it into negative. If it is negative, turn it into affirmative. One more example. She doesn't have much money. Okay. Where is the quantifier in the sentence? Yeah, great. It's much. Where is the quantifier between the two brackets? Yeah, little. Are they the same? First of all, huh, it's very simple to remove this and put this. Okay? Because I can't have two quantifiers in the same sentence. So I need to put this instead of this. I don't need this anymore. I put this instead of this. But I have to focus. If they are the same, huh, keep the sentence as it is. Okay? So if I have here a lot of, I will not turn it into negative. Because a lot of have the same meaning of much. So I don't need to change the sentence from affirmative to negative or from negative to affirmative. But they are here opposite. So if the quantifier in the sentence, the opposite, is the opposite of the quantifier between the two brackets, just turn into, huh? If it is affirmative, turn into negative. If it is negative, turn it into affirmative. So, huh? She doesn't have much money. I replace much with little. And the sentence is negative. I throw doesn't to turn it into negative. So I don't need it anymore. When it was affirmative, this was has, not have. Okay? Huh? She has little money. She has little money. Okay? More examples? Okay, one more example. She can drink much juice. Now use a lot. Where are the two quantifiers? Huh? Much and a lot of. Great. So are they the same or, huh, or uh, or opposite? 
Yes, Miss Amal, they are the same much, have the same meaning like a lot of. And I have told you before that I can replace much by a lot of. Okay? So, they have the same meaning. Okay? So, I don't need to turn the sentence into negative or affirmative. I keep it as it is. And just remove this and put this. Okay? So, it will be, she can drink a lot of juice. And it's okay. But what about they come with a lot of cars? Okay? They come with a lot of cars. Use few. Huh? A lot of few. The two quantifiers I have here. Are they the same or opposite? Yes, Miss Amal, they are the opposite. So, I need to do what? First of all, replace this by this. And second step, I have to check the sentence. If affirmative, turn into negative. If negative, turn into affirmative. They come, so they don't come with few cards. They don't come with few cards. Okay? Great, great three. Thank you for listening.